Jack Kilby is one of the greatest innovators of the 20th century. A leader in electronics engineering, he left a legacy of technological advancements. His achievements left a mark on almost all of modern technology. If you look back to the first great wave of American innovation, I'm talking about Thomas Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, Henry Ford, engineers who changed the, the daily life of the world with a good idea. They were global heroes. Jack Kilby changed the daily life of the world just as spectacularly as Thomas Edison did and Henry Ford did, and nobody's ever heard of it. His invention of the monolithic integrated circuit, the microchip, laid the foundation for the entire field of modern microelectronics. His inventions include the microchip, also known as the integrated circuit, the pocket calculator, missile guidance systems, and they led to even more indispensable devices that shaped the modern society. In the beginning, in 1958, he moved from Great Bend, Kansas, all the way to Dallas, Texas, and joined Texas Instruments. Like many inventors, he set out to solve a problem. In this case, the problem was called the tyranny of numbers, said his company. I wanted to work on what was then called circuit miniaturization and uh, chose TI as one of the more promising places. They were really the only one that offered to let me work full time on the kind of thing I wanted to do. So since it had to be semiconductors, I began to think about how much you could do with semiconductors and realized that you could make all the circuit elements that you needed that way. Well, the initial process was mostly in thinking about it, sketching things on paper, not much physical uh, effort for several months. At the end of that period, we actually began to try to build something, and uh, the first circuit was finished in September. And in the same year when almost everyone else set up for the traditional two-week vacation, the monolithic idea was born. It was a relatively simple device, said T.I. What he made was only a transistor, resistor, and other components etched onto a small 7 16th inch by 1 16th inch slice of germanium, which is the size of a paperclip. He called it the integrated circuit. Little did anyone know the coming importance of the microchip. I think... Uh... Uh, many people do not realize today that the, the ultimate uh, worth of the integrated circuit was not universally recognized in the early 60s. Uh, it was uh, viewed by, by many serious thinkers with great skepticism. Uh, I remember at a conference in Seattle, and I think it was uh, uh, 1965 or 66, uh, I was almost hooted off the stage for having uh, made some positive comments about the future of integrated circuits. The integrated circuit proved to be essential in many inventions led by Jack Kilby, starting in the most nervous time between the U.S. and the Soviet Union, the Cold War, with the U.S. first successful nuclear missile, the Minuteman. During the Cold War, when the U.S. was making Minuteman 1, T.I. figured out that the IC was the key to success for the Minuteman's guidance computer. So they made a mission, co-led by Jack Kilby, and tried to convince the missile maker Autonetics that ICs can be useful. After lots of persuasion from T.I.'s manager, Charles Phipps, Jack Kilby, other T.I. workers, and some support from the Air Force, they finally convinced Autonetics. In Minuteman 2, the IC proved to be a major improvement, allowing the missile to actually scare the whole world. This missile's guidance computer contained 2,000 integrated circuits, so it had improved range and much better accuracy, and it was 50% lighter. This drastically changed the convenience and reliability of these missiles. And obviously, in 1964, Minuteman II successfully launched and landed in the correct location, allowing the U.S. to be a much, much more powerful country. The lucky thing that happened to us was the Minuteman missile. They had to go to miniature electronics. What was more ideal than an than a integrated circuit? So the Air Force sponsored the integrated circuit. So the Air Force people up in Dayton are responsible really for commercializing integrated circuits. Because with that background, we were able then to develop farther along and to show it really was practical. Earlier in the 1960s, former President Pat Haggerty discussed the invention of a handheld calculator when Jack Kilby was on a vacation trip. This was because of the gargantuan calculators of that age. 
which were the size of a desk, making it hard for architects and other field scientists to calculate things out of the lab. So in 1964, Dean Toombs, the head of the Semiconductor Research and Development Lab, formed a team consisting of Kilby, Jim Van Tassel, and Jerry Merriman to develop a calculator that would fit in the palm of the hand, yet powerful enough to perform the basic math function. And in December 1966, the Caltech calculator was made. With 18 keys, this calculator was only able to do basic math functions like addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction. With this calculator, architects and field scientists are able to easily calculate measurements and scientists can solve things easily whenever they want to. Another feature this calculator incorporated was another one of his great inventions, the thermal printhead. Thermal printhead was one of Kilby's ingenious ideas in which he leaded the whole project. The thermal printhead was made to print things incorporating the integrated circuit, so now you can print things from a digital device. After solving a lot of problems, they created a perfectly functioning printer that printed on a heat-sensitive paper at a speed of 400 words per minute, or 40 characters per second. This invention would lead to a legacy of all the printers made now. And in 1965, another one of Kilby's in great inventions was born. As a brilliant engineer and an inventor, Kilby has made many capacity contributions which led to honor and respect from many people. As a result, Kilby was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame and the Engineering and Science Hall of Fame. Jack Kilby was awarded the 2000 Nobel Prize in Physics. Over his lifetime and his career, Jack Kilby held dozens of patents and established Jack Kilby International Awards Foundation. As a great inventor, he held many patents and many great inventions. Without his most widely known invention, the microchip, you may not even have that phone or even hear this first of all. His invention like the microchip inspired and was used in many new inventions, such as the famous computer, printer, TV, phone, camera, car, electric oven, microwave, traffic lights, and many other appliances. Overall, Jack Kilby's monolithic idea did not only impact all the humans of Earth, but it impacted all of technology forever in how we see it.